Hello, welcome back to MED Friday Tech, and today we're going to look at Preverto backplates, Steve. So we've got three different types. Do you want to run through them? What we've got? Okay. First one is Ultralight EN8. Fine for the road, bus road, rally, etc. Next one is EN24T. Similar shape, slightly lighter because what we've done is we've pocketed the back of the backplate to get rid of the weight. Also got a little logo in just now. Okay. Third one, this is a 7075 alloy back plate. So again, you've got all the pockets in the back with the logo. And then you've got a removable tool steel insert. Cool. So this makes obviously a lot less weight than that one. What's the difference in the weights between the three of them there? Okay, we'll just quickly look at the weights. First one is the... Uh, the ultralight steel EN8, they're 1.32 kilos. Okay. This is the EN24T, which is 0.87 of a kilo, a lot lighter. Yeah. And this one again loses another 130 grams over that one, which is 740 grams. Okay. So if we've gone from, just with these two quickly, gone from EN8 steel to EN24, why is it lighter? It's lighter basically because if you turn this one over comparably, you will see this one's got full thickness here, yeah. whereas this one's got the full thickness, but then it's counterboard with the pockets to so get rid of the weight. That a tougher grade of steel then? Was a lot, lot tougher. Very high grade EN24T steel. Okay, and that means you can remove more weight from it? Yes, it's stronger, so the weight removal doesn't affect the strength of it. Does that mean it lasts longer with the clutch plate? Uh, it, it'll last as long as the driver. I mean, some, some people can break anything. Obviously, some people drive on the clutch. Some people stop the car with the clutch. Other okay. people stop the car with the brakes. So, so how long you... it will last, there is no definitive answer. So, mechanically sympathetic, then? If you're mechanically sympathetic, it will last a long, long while. Right, OK. If you're very hard on clutches, you'll be putting one in every year. Regardless of, of what you fit? Exactly. And then the aluminium one at the end, so you've got a steel insert in there. Is that replaceable then? Okay, yes. Beauty of this one is, again, very, very light because it's 7075. And the aluminium will dissipate the heat better. But the beauty of this one is, you've got a tall steel insert, which can be taken away, thrown away, replaced at any point in time. Okay. And these are held in with the little Allen countersunk screws. I was going to say, hope, hopefully that's countersunk, otherwise it's going yeah. to stick right into the clutch plate. <laughs> Ten point nine rated bolts. Yep. With a little tiny K nut on the back, which is crimped. Nice. So when you actually lock it up, the crimp locks onto the bolt. If you, I don't know if we can see that on there. You can see it's kind of just kind of what squashed, I suppose you say, in, yeah, in, in one direction. It's, it's actually called crimp, but what you say is it, literally it's pinched across the top. Yep. So that when you tighten it up, the pinch actually locks one thread against the other. So similar to what we have on the rockers? Exactly, exactly. the same thing as on the rockers, but the rockers are 3.8, I think these are 5 mil. Yep. Um, but we do lock tight these as well. Yeah, okay, stop them coming apart. That's right. So why would you go for EN8, EN, you know, what's the difference here? Why would you choose one over the other? Obviously the lighter the better for a race engine. Yeah. So obviously we end up with 1.3 down to nearly half that weight with that one. Makes a massive difference. Okay. Um, material, obviously this is a cheaper material than this one, which is a cheaper material than the 7075. Yeah. Um, so price points, different applications. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So how about a road car? What would you use on a road that car? That one, every time. Really? That's okay. Good enough for most applications of road car. Yeah. We do get people that come in and want the ultimate road car, and then they will buy the X-Lite flywheel, which is the lightest. They will buy the X-Lite back plate, which is the lightest. They will buy steel cranks. <laughs> So, but general advice is actually the cheaper one might be better for you on the road. I wouldn't say it'd be better, it just depends on what you're going to do with the road car. Some people just want it as a, a Sunday afternoon, take it out through the lanes yeah. and give it what for. Yeah. Other people want everyday driver. So the, horses, of course, is the one in the middle would use in historic racing as well, where you're not allowed an aluminium back plate. Historic, yes, um, this is the one. But otherwise it's a nice halfway house between the two. Um, I would push it more this way than halfway. Okay. Yeah, it is a proper racing backplate. Yeah. Whereas this one, it, it will cope with race use, but it's not the ideal. Got it, understand. So, road use, EN8. A race one for where alloy is not permitted. Yeah. 
and the ultimate. Brilliant. Thanks, Steve. Okay. And then maybe next week, take a look at the flywheels again, a different range and, and yeah, how these match how up. With each other. Thank you. Okay.